Rome Total War is a grand strategy game crossed with a real-time strategy battle system, which is known for its grand scale. While not the most popular Total War game by far, it does have a pretty loyal fanbase which has people playing the game actively to this day. And I can see why. I'm playing on the PC version, which came out in 2004, though there's also an iPad version from 2016, and an iPhone and Android version, which came out in 2018. It's not exactly a perfectly aged wine, that's for sure. There are visual glitches, like everywhere, with the grass textures not working properly, shadows flickering every once in a while, and the worst of all, it runs with a single core. I never found a way to add more cores to it, but most of the time this won't cause issues except for the climax of the game, where you'll be most likely having battles with like 20,000 men or so. Moments like that will take the frame rate to a crawl, with the worst examples taking me to 5 FPS or so. Luckily, as people die, the frame rate also picks up, so if anything, it's just a good motivator to fight efficiently, right? You'll be conquering in Europe, the Middle East and North Africa, though the attention's mainly on the West and South Europe, with the other areas being very sparse and requiring to waste multiple turns to even reach them. Whether it's historically accurate or not doesn't matter too much, since map painting and going for bigger conquests becomes more of a chore. The different cultures are well established with the battle map showing the appropriate buildings and the surrounding areas pretty well. If there's a mountain in the campaign map, you'll also see it in the battle map. And that's kind of what Rome succeeds at the most. It's the detail. Each battle is started by a rousing speech, which consists of multiple parts. The type of enemy you're fighting, the type of general you have, the type of troops you have, down to the minor stuff like whether you have trees around you or not. The developers themselves weren't just interested in making cool battles and leave it at that. They wanted you to feel like you were a part of the world and they wanted you to have a glimpse at the time period and God damn if they just didn't succeed. Sure, the AI is not perfect. Man, it's not even good half the time. But it doesn't matter. You'll still keep going, just getting that one more settlement, taking out that one more band of rebels, building one more building or just recruiting that one last unit to make your army perfect. It's addicting. And there's enough content here to keep you entertained for a full campaign if not even more. The game's available for a cheap price, and it runs on a toaster. Give it a shot, you might just end up with the biggest empire the world's ever seen. Thanks for watching.